Now there's a lot of different ways to create shapes in Photoshop, but one thing that definitely seems a lot more complicated than it should be at first glance is creating arrows in Photoshop, particularly curved arrows. So today I want to share a few easy ways to create arrows in Photoshop using the shape tools, as well as how you can save these arrows as a preset so then you don't have to manually create them every time. You will have a bunch of arrows that you can just add to your images in one click. So the first type of arrow that we're gonna create is just a single straight arrow, the most basic type of arrow you could create. Now here in Photoshop, if I go and access the custom shape tool right down here, you might notice that there are a few arrow options within your program, which you can just click on and then you can click and drag out to create an arrow. But what I find with these options is they're kind of limiting and if you want to say extend the stem of the arrow and not the arrow head, it is sort of difficult to do that. So wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to just create a long arrow with a small head and not have to scale everything together at once. So deleting those two layers, we can actually go and create lines using the line tool. So clicking and holding and selecting the line tool here, we can go up to our upper settings bar, click on this gear icon, and then you see this option that says arrow heads, and you can choose to add them at the end or the start of your line. Now in this case, I'm gonna check it off for the end of my line, but if you wanted a double-sided arrow, you could check off both of these options if you would like. Now from there, we can go and adjust our settings, but we can do that afterwards. For now, let's just go and create our arrow. So clicking and dragging out, just like a regular line, this time it's going to create an arrow head at the end of our line. If I hold the shift key, that line will stay perfectly straight. So letting go, now we have created a line here, and I can just go and increase the size of the this arrow just by dragging up the stroke amount. So the stroke controls the thickness of the outline of a shape. And in this case, since that's our arrow, it's just gonna make our arrow thicker and thicker. Now, when you have a smaller stroke like this with your arrow, you might notice that there is this little gap of color here, and that is because of the fill color. So the fill color is going to fill in your arrowhead if you have a small stroke. So if you want that little bit of your arrowhead to match the rest of your arrow, then make sure to go to the fill option, click on that, and then go to the black color swatch or whatever color your arrow is. And then now you have that area filled in. So this simple arrowhead technique is one of the easiest ways to create straight arrows that you can control the length of really easily here in Photoshop. And then of course, just to make them thicker, you just have to select your line, go to your stroke option, and then go and increase the stroke as needed. Now it is worth remembering that all of these options up here will only be visible when your shape tool is selected, or in this case, our line tool. So now we have successfully created a perfectly straight arrow. So now let's talk about how to create curved arrows in Photoshop. And the first example that we'll do is create a semicircle arrow that kind of goes like this. So what we'll do first is go and select our elliptical marquee tool, and then we'll hold the shift key and click and drag out to create a perfect circle like so. If you want to move the selection, just hold the space bar. You can move that whole selection at once. So I'm going to create a selection to represent basically the size of the curve of the arrow that we're gonna create. From there, we're gonna go and create a new layer for our arrow to sit on, and then we're gonna go up to Edit and down here to Stroke. And Stroke is just gonna add an outline to our selection in the width and color that we choose in this little dialog box here. So I'll set the stroke to something like 30 pixels. Obviously the larger width value you add in, the thicker your arrow will be. And then for the color, I'll just leave that set to black. As for the location, I'm gonna leave this set to center so that the stroke will be applied equally on the outer and inner edge of our selection. Clicking OK, that will now apply that stroke onto our elliptical marquee selection. I'll press Command or Control D to deselect that, and now we have a circle. So let's now turn this into an arrow. First, we need to cut this circle in half, and by going and selecting our rectangular marquee tool like so, up in the settings bar here, we'll make sure that this little option is selected and our feather is set to zero. Then we're gonna go and click and drag over the part of your circle that you want to keep. So everything that is inside of that little marquee selection is going to be kept. So once that is active and your circle layer is selected, go and just add a layer mask, click so, and now you have a semi-circle. Next, we need to go and add a triangle to finish off this arrow. Now in Photoshop, there's actually a triangle tool that you can access right here, and if you don't see it, you might locate it by clicking on these three little dots right here, and then you might find the triangle tool hidden in there instead. Either way, once you access that tool, click on it, choose a fill and stroke that's gonna match the color of your arrow, of course. And then we're gonna click and drag out and create an arrowhead of our desired shape. So I'm gonna just 
do something like this. Now with that triangle layer selected, I'll grab my move tool by pressing V and then I'll just go and spin this around like that and then position it onto my arrow as needed. Click the check mark to commit to that. And now we have successfully created a curved arrow with two different layers. Now, just to make life easy in my layers panel, I'll just shift click both of these layers, right click and go to merge layers. So now they're on one single layer. So I'll call this two arrow two. Now for our third type of arrow, we're gonna create a curvy arrow, but at the end of all this, I'm gonna show you how to save all of these arrows as a preset so you can apply them in just one click and you never have to manually create them like we're doing here. Again, you only have to do it once. Now, anyways, for our curvy arrow, you need to to use the pen tool to create a path and then stroke that path. So creating a new layer like so, I'm gonna select my pen tool by pressing P on my keyboard or selecting it here and make sure that my mode is set to path. And then I'll just click to add an anchor point, click to add another anchor point, hold and drag to curve that path, click to add one more, hold and drag to curve that path as well. Now, the way that it works when you stroke a path is that you can select the brush tool that you have active to basically follow along that path. So that means it's important to make sure your brush settings are in the correct order that you want your arrow to look like. So I'm gonna select my brush tool by pressing B. And currently you can see that this is what my brush stroke looks like. And that's not necessarily great for an arrow. I wanna have a hard edge and probably something a little bit smaller. So what I can do is up here in the settings, I can go and bring the hardness to 100%. So so then we will not have a feathered edge anymore. And then I can bring down the size as needed, or you can go and just use the bracket keys on your keyboard like so. So then just to do a test line, that was kind of what our arrow will look like. I'm happy with that. So with all of those brush settings in order, we can go back to our pen tool, selecting our pen tool. Now we'll go and right click on that path and go to stroke path. From these stroke options, we'll make sure that our tool is set to brush and then go and click okay. Now the brush that we just created, that was our active brush, will follow our path identically like this and create a curved line for us. Now we need to go ahead and delete this path. So just right click on it and go to delete path while your pen tool is active. Lastly, of course, to finish this off, we need to add a triangle once again. So let's access that triangle tool, click and drag to create a arrow head, grab the move tool, and then just position this as needed at the end of your curve or your wave clicking the check mark to commit to that. And now we have a variety of different arrows. Let me actually just maybe fix the positioning of that arrowhead. Okay, perfect. So now we have a few different arrows here and let's go and create presets of each of these arrows so that we can just paint them onto our photo in one click without having to do all of this manual work that we just did. First, I'm gonna shift click my curvy arrow layers and I'll press command or control E to merge those layers and I'll call this to arrow three. Now the way that we're gonna save these as presets is actually save them as a brush. And then that way you can use your brush tool just to click once to add these arrows on. So let's first create a preset of this wavy arrow here. I'm gonna turn off my other layers and then I'm gonna make sure my desired layer is selected, in this case, this curvy arrow. Then I'll go to edit and down here to define brush preset. And I'm gonna call this to bendy arrow and then click okay. Now you notice that when my brush tool is active, I have this curvy arrow, and that's because we just created a new brush tip shape based on the shape of our arrow. So now I could go and select any color I want. Let's say I want this teal color, and now I can click once, and now I have that colored arrow, and it's really easy to just quickly add these different arrows onto our photo just by clicking once. That's all you have to do because we have it saved as a brush preset. So I'll delete this since we have that now saved as a brush preset. And let's go and save our next brush preset. So here's our next one with that layer selected, our other layers hidden. We'll go up to edit and down here to define brush preset, call this to curved arrow and then click okay. And then now once again, we have a curved arrow that we can just click once with our brush tool to quickly create these arrows later on in our projects. I'll delete that. And then finally, we have our final arrow here with that layer selected. Go up to edit, define brush preset. I'll call this to straight arrow and then click OK. Creating a new layer. And then with my brush tool selected, I now have this new shape created with the exact shape of my arrow that we've created manually using the line tool earlier. So now if I go up to my brush panel here, my brush preset panel, you'll notice that I have all of my different arrow options here. So all of them will be created at the very bottom of all your brush presets. Now to organize these further, you can just shift click between them, right click, and then go to new brush group. 
And then I'm gonna call this to arrow brushes. And then now we have it nice and organized. So all of our brushes are right here within this single folder. So then you can quickly access them later on and then just paint your arrow brushes onto your image with total ease and simplicity. So that is how to create arrows in Photoshop. And if you enjoyed today's tutorial, then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really makes a huge difference to support this channel. Now, if you enjoy photo editing, Photoshop and all that good stuff, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so we can hang out and talk more about cool tricks like this. Anyways, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.